Hello students, welcome to Mr. Ticket classes. Today we are doing the precession calculations and we are comparing two methods, the straight line method and the diminishing balance method. This is our activity and this is our answer book. So before we look at our activity, we need to know what the precession is, we need to know what straight line method is, and we need to know what diminishing balance method is. Let us go through our notes. Depreciation. Depreciation is the systematic allocation of the depreciable amount of an asset over its useful life. Depreciation is the wear and tear of assets due to technological advances, use, and many other factors. Accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation is the total depreciation of an asset from the date of purchase up to the date in question carrying amount. This is the amount at which an asset is recognized in the statement of financial position after deducting any accumulated depreciation. Cost subtract accumulated depreciation is equals to carrying amount. Cost is the buying price. Accumulated depreciation is the wear and tear. Carrying amount is what the business currently has. Methods of calculating depreciation. In this lesson, depreciation will be calculated using the straight line method and the diminishing balance method or reducing balance method. Straight line method. Depreciation is calculated on cost in all the years. Diminishing balance method. Depreciation is calculated on cost in the year of acquisition and on carrying amount in the subsequent years. Let us go through our activity. The information below relates to Paradise Limited. Information. Cost of equipment, 500,000. Date of purchase, 1 January 2017. Depreciation, 10% per annum required. Calculate depreciation for 2017, 2018, and 2019 using the straight line method and the diminishing balance method. So, the straight line method is on our left side. The diminishing balance method on the right side. So we are going to calculate depreciation for 2017, 2018, and 2019. Depreciation. Alright. So, straight line method. Depreciation is calculated on cost in all the years. Alright. So, the cost of this asset is 500,000. Multiply by 10%. 10%, right? So this is going to be 50,000. This is going to be 50,000, right? Okay, diminishing balance method. Diminishing balance method. Depreciation is calculated on cost in the year of acquisition and on carrying amount in the subsequent years. So, currently we are calculating depreciation on cost because this is the year of acquisition, 2017. Remember, the asset was purchased on 1 January 2017. So, we are going to say depreciation. Five hundred thousand multiply by ten percent. This is going to be fifty thousand. Right? Carrying amount. Carrying amount as at that one December twenty seventeen. That one December 2017. So this is going to be 450,000. Carrying amount is at that one December 2017. This is going to be 450,000. Alright. Depreciation for 2018. Depreciation for 2018. So we are going to say depreciation. Depreciation, depreciation, 
all right let us look at what we have here the precession is calculated on cost in all the years all right so we are still calculating the precession on cost 500,000 multiplied by 10 percent so this is going to be 50,000 right okay a diminishing balance method diminishing balance method depreciation is calculated on cost in the year of acquisition and on carrying amount in the subsequent years right so this is no longer the year of acquisition because we are calculating depreciation for 2018 now so we are going to calculate depreciation on carrying amount so we are going to say depreciation depreciation the carrying amount is 450,000 multiplied by 10 percent we are going to get 45,000 we are going to get 45,000 all right so we are going to say carrying amount we are going to say carrying amount but this is 2018 now carrying amount this is 2018 all right 450,000 subtract 50,000 we are going to get 400,000 then 450,000 subtract 45,000 subtract 45,000 we are going to get 405,000 all right then depreciation for 2019 depreciation for 2019 it is still going to be the same here because we are calculating on cost and cost is 500,000 so it is still going to be the same then depreciation for 2019 here depreciation all right so we are calculating depreciation on carrying amount so the carrying amount is 405,000 multiplied by 10 percent right so what do we get multiply by 10 percent 40,500 40,500 Okay, so what will be our carrying amount? Now this is 2019. Now this is 2019. All right, so 350,000 here. All right, 405,000 subtract 40,500. We are going to get 364,500. So what you should always remember is when you are using the straight line method, you have to calculate the precession on cost always in all the years, right? When you are using the diminishing balance method, you have to calculate the precession on cost in the year of acquisition and on carrying amount in the subsequent years so the precession when using straight line method it is constant it will be the same for all the years because you are calculating it on cost and cost it does not change the precession when calculating it using diminishing balance method the precession would change right it will change why because the carrying amount changes thank you